Hi, I'm Ryan, and this is Team Thrust. So the first step in our design process is coming up with an initial design on SolidWorks. Next, we chose our materials, which consisted of core plastic, six-inch propellers, and the Sunny Sky standard legs. But then we ran into some issues, so we had to do some redesign. And then we had to fabricate our design in lab. Next, we had to calibrate and install all the electronics, which were having issues with our motor four, so we had to recalibrate it a few times. We got it to work. And once we got it to work, we had to test it, which we didn't have much time to do. But we eventually did pretty good and got the highest preliminary. This is the SOLIDWORKS file we used to plan our design. We used one sheet of 16 by 16 chloroplast and cut out the holes using a bandsaw. For our landing gear, we used polycarbonate plastic and bent it at the edges using a heat gun. We put it all together for our final design using zip ties. We put the nozzle in the center and the receiver right next to it. We have motors one, two, three, and four. On the bottom, the battery is centered in the center, and we have the four ESCs and the LED in the front. We chose the Sunny Sky 2300 because it weighs the least and spins the most per volt. For our propellers, we chose the 6 inches for more speed. And our motor to motor distance is 10 inches. And finally, our weight to thrust ratio is 2.14 grams per unit. Great, but the one problem was that it caused some of the motors to raise up. Uh, motor 4 especially was higher than the other motors, and this caused a yaw in the left direction while we were flying. Uh, we had to compensate while we were flying using the left throttle control, which made it difficult to fly. Uh, 